What's going on, y'all? Today, we are going to be installing a transmission cooler. So yeah, the, the project of the day is a 40K True Cool. So you can see kind of stenciled active bill on here. We got the AN lines, the fittings for the transmission, and other AN fittings right here. We're going to be bypassing the radiator, so we're not going to run it through the radiator. We're just going to run it straight from the transmission AN line all the way up. So, we're going to show you guys how we do it, kind of how I did it on, on my single cab. Sorry, it's a little blurry. That's how I did it over there. Um, the only difference is I'm running a Mishimoto one, which I think this might be better. But... That's pretty much what you're gonna need. Hey, what size AN line is this, 10? Uh, six. six? Yeah. Okay, so it's a six AN line. And then these adapters are, uh, I don't remember what size adapters. I'll try to post they're, it. They're like five eighths to six AN. So okay, so, cool. yeah, I think he said it's, no, not the cooler, the ones for the transmission. So it's pretty much like a coarse thread to the six AN. Uh, I'll try to post it right there, but that's what you're gonna have to get for the transmission. And then on the on the cooler side, same thing. It's like a five eight five eight. You said, yeah, five eight. Like a five eight to a six an. So, we'll show you guys exactly what's needed and how we do the the install. Pretty much what you want to start off with though is removing the grill, so you can access this area because you're gonna need to be all all right there. So, pop off the grill, which is just the ten up here, and then you gotta pop these off. So yours might be like this, it might not, but more than likely it is. It has this cooler, which is tied in. See these lines? It's tied in to the cool to the radiator, I mean, through here. So you're gonna have to undo that. And you are gonna leak some fluid, so be ready to drain some and you're gonna have to fill some back up. So that's the next step. So to install the AN fittings. The way I do it is you can like spray a little bit of lubricant on here and then this piece you're going to slide over and once that piece is over you're going to slide this piece pretty much in which is going to go in like this. So first start off by putting this part on and there's already tape here so we're going to try to use that but if not you want to like wrap a piece of tape it'll help. All right so we finally got one side on. Be prepared guys, use all your muscles. Cause this guy yoked and he, and he struggled. So once that, once this is on, this is what you're gonna do now. You're gonna put this side in here and you're gonna thread it. And that's gonna go into the hose inside. But you're gonna have to use like two, uh, if you have the A in like pliers, it'd be best. But if not, you're just gonna have to use some like channel locks or something. Just make sure it's not pushing the hose out and just start threading. But we're going to do the other side right now so that we have both ends done and then we're just going to cut where we need. So this side is on. This is how it's supposed to come out. If you don't have a special AN like pliers, then it's going to get scratched a little. Try taping the pliers up, but still, you can see. But once you get this part on, the first part, the second part's easy. So just focus on getting that first part on. So we got both these fittings on. Still got to tighten this one up. But what we're going to do now is take off. These are the transmission lines right here. And that's where they go to. It's kind of tucked in there, but that's where they go to. So we're going to take those off. And then take all the lines off. And figure out how... My bad. Take all the line off and figure out how to run it through. So, you know, these lines are pretty much going to be trash once they come out because you're going to have to bend them up and everything. So, let's get going on that. Look at that sexy individual. Being concentrado. Hey, hey, hey. No hables así. Yeah, they're kind of pain in the ass to get to, though. You guys can see they're back. 
there. Focus, there you go. Yeah, pop off the little C-clips. And those are the ones that are painting the ass. <laughs> cool so we got the lines off as you can see now we got to take the fittings where the lines go to i don't know if you could see where he's putting the wrench on right there but pretty much it's these fittings right here that's where you're gonna put these fittings but before you do we're gonna put it's like a thread sealing on there which we're gonna go get some because we don't have any right now. But so far, so good. A little bit of a pain to get the hoses out, as you can see. You gotta squirt it on by a strut. Mm -hmm. And as you guys know, transmission fluid fucking stinks. Buenos dias, buenos dias. Finishing up today because yesterday we had to go do some stuff. You know, got the cafecito for the morning. You said you like your coffee black because what? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just trimming out these brackets. So cooler cafe right here. We'll show you guys exactly how that is. Go and trim these out too. I want to install it right now. So this is how the cooler's pretty much going to sit. As you can see while we cut it, cut the bracket right there so the fittings can go downward and there's room just like that. And then we're going to put the brackets up here to hold it like, you know, steady up here. So we're going to do that and as soon as we do that, we'll show you guys. Miralo, miralo. Still look good. Yeah. That's pretty much how we got it right now. We'll put these brackets right here and we uh, self tapped it into this. Same thing on this side. We're gonna trim this little excess just cause it's bothering us. Ah, shit. <laughs> and then down here, self tapped it right here. Right there. That thing is sturdy. I ain't going nowhere. So now what we're gonna do is put the fittings in there, boom, with the thread sealer, put the ones in the transmission, start running our lines. Got a measuring cut, and after that, as soon as we run them, top off the trans fluid. But I see I said cut activities. So your transmission don't overheat, kill. All right, let's keep it pushing. All right, so this is what I like to use, thread sealant. And just put it on the A end lines, so that way it don't, you know, you make sure nothing leaks. Oh, there you go. Mm. That's how it's supposed to look. <laughs> Pasty. You know, see? Penetrar. Hey, am I going the wrong way? Yeah, there you go. And make sure no leakage. This one. Yeah. Cool. Put it on that one. Tighten them up. All right, so we got those fucking fittings on up there. You can see those are a pain in the ass to get to. Not to like throw them on, but to tighten them up, just because of the wrench. Like to fit a wrench or socket in there. Sorry, hello wiggling. But they're on there, so now we could fit the 90 degrees with the hoses. Start running them through. And measure, cut. Put the other side on and then finish pretty soon let's keep going sorry guys i forgot to record this part but pretty much what we did is we test fitted the lines you know um thread them into the transmission ran them to the front to where the cooler goes measured it and put like a tight piece of tape where we want to cut cut right in the middle of that. So we did it in two spots. As you can see, one right there, one right there. So those are the two lines that are cut to size now. So now all we gotta do is put the fittings on this side, run the lines one more time, secure them, and that's it.
for the fluid. Okay. Time to get a, a new cluster with trans temp now. Yeah, and shackles in the back. Shocks. Shocks. Hello, hello. I'm gonna do a burnout after this, alright? I'm gonna do it for the tube. Okay, you gonna do it for the tube? You know when it rains. You gonna fucking put transmission fluid on the tires. Alright. <laughs> alright, we got some stuff we gotta do, and then we'll be right back on this. Alright, so we're back, but we're not back. So removal of some wheels going on right now. A little some some going on right here, but that's gonna be a separate video, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Bunch of upgrades coming on on this thing though. What the fuck? You probably used the wrong size. But yeah, upgrades coming for this right now. So stay tuned. We're gonna go handle something else with this and we'll be right back on this. All right, so we're back on the truck now. So pretty much what we were gonna do was we were supposed to go trade some wheels. So we're gonna trade his stock, well not stock, his 22 uh, TBSS wheels for some 24 and niche wheels, niche, whatever it's called. Here's, let me show you guys the post. So this is the post, that's the wheels. Slight curb rash, one repair. Let me tell you, when we get there, one wheel's not repaired. <laughs> the other three have welds all over that they've been repaired, curb rash like crazy. He said all the tires were good, too bald. Keep in mind, we drove an hour and a half there. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit longer. So an hour and a half there, an hour and a half back. That's like three hours that we just lost. So, I don't know. We like, when we post up on Facebook, you know, we try to be, how can I say it? Honest. Yeah, honest. We try to be honest, you know, mm -hmm. and be straight up. Like, I just traded some wheels. I, I told dude, so like, they're not the best condition, blah, blah, blah. It is what it is. But this dude tried to make them seem like they're perfect. They look good in pictures. You get there and... Out of 10, you want, I want to say like a two out of 10. Like they were, they were beat up, like bad. So, wasted our time. It is what it is, you live and you learn. We're gonna get back on the truck, get the trans cooler done. Keep moving. On the bright side, yes, he, he still has other upgrades coming. So, one more. yeah, so bright side. We're gonna keep going. It's all good, shit happens. So anyways, back onto this. Pretty much what we have left on this is put the fittings on this side like i said earlier we're gonna put that run them put fluid that's it that's all we got so let's do it let's get it done yeah there so we got the bottom lines ran from the transmission a little bit of a paint to get back in there but Just tightening these up now. I'm gonna tighten this one up. Now this one we're kinda gonna try to keep it close to here a little bit, as you can see. But after this, before we even do that, we're gonna put some fluid in it, start it up. We'll start it up before even putting fluid to see how much we're gonna even need. And um, make sure there's no leaks. Cool, cool, so we got everything pretty much plumbed up. We're gonna start it up right now. Let me let me lower it. We're gonna start it up. Make sure there's no leaks. Good. Yep. Let's put the window down. And we're gonna raise it back up. Let's put the window down. And we're gonna raise it up. All right. Let's see. So this is how we ran the lines right now. You can see that these are the A N lines running through right here, right here, and up to there. We still gotta clean them up a little bit. At least maybe you know put them together like like this, so they're together. Same thing right here and right here, just to make sure you know we're keeping it away from the belt. And this one's gonna run across here. But right now we're just checking, make sure no leaks. So far. So far everything looks good. There you go. So far everything looks good. So 
We're gonna let it idle for a little bit, check on that, put the wheels back on, and top off the fluid. All right, so we've, so we've had it idling for a while now. Pretty much got all wheels back on. Still not seeing no leaks, so that's a good sign. Going to check the fluid right now, make sure it's good to go. Probably gonna have to add like a half a quart or something, especially to compensate for the bigger cooler. And then just at least tie the, this part right here to make sure like the, they don't hit the belt. I don't know if I even have zip ties actually. I don't know if I have zip ties. That's pretty much it pretty easy install mate we were off and on so it took us a little longer but once you're on it like within like two three hours you could have this done so let me check the fluids get back to you guys so you guys can kind of see right there it's a little hard to see hold on let me try to focus man that thing does not want to focus anyways it's a little low so we're gonna add a little bit should be good to go So it's not that bad, so what we're gonna do is let it idle. We're gonna drive it today. Right now, let's put the grill on. This light's broken. <laughs> Gotta fix that. Shout out Amazon. For real. Put this on. You can't even see the stencil, but it's still, it's there. No, it's like right behind the GMC. <laughs> Let me see how it looks from back here. It's there. It's there. Right, that's it. <laughs> so yeah, I mean that's pretty much it to this install. We're gonna raise it back up. Like I said, connect those hoses together so at least they're far away from the the belts. We're good to go. So that is the complete installation of a 40k true cool we ended up tightening up the lights at the uh the lines at the bottom we like zip tied them together zip tied them to the cross members so that way they're not rubbing or nothing you know could possibly hit so, so the lines are secured yeah you can kind of see it through there like, there you go looks good so that's how you install a 40 40k true cool that's how we install a 40k true cool you know and hopefully you know one of you guys are able to learn from that that's how we installed it on the on my single cab pretty much got the a in lines from front to back but i see on that being cool está la llanta de atrás como no las cambiaron como no cambiaste los rines a gastarlos para que acaben así de ahí está but yeah, so that's pretty much the end of it for this video. You know, whenever he does the other modifications and stuff, we'll record that too. But till now, well for now, catch you guys on the next one.